There's even an instruction leaflet on how to use hand cream, apparently. Oh no, they're just promoting all their other stuff. No? Directions. Apply small amounts to hands and massage into skin and cuticles. This is a lot of wasted packaging and this is where money gets wasted. Not impressed by that. Uh, but that is what the tube actually looks like. It's actually safety sealed. I'm not going to open it. I was going to smell it, but I'm not going to open it because um, it's safety sealed. So, yeah. But that's really cool. I'm actually pretty happy with that because I like hand cream. We have two things left and both of them are kind of interesting and I'm not at all unhappy about either of them really. Um, the first one is a baked highlighter from Model Co. This is in Moonshine. Uh, these are... Whoa. Uh, so this is 3.5 grams. This is apparently $25 worth of baked highlighter. Although, I'm not sure that's highlighter colour for me. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. I'll, I'll swatch it and we'll see what we get. Oh, okay, this is more like a uh, blush topper. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, it might be a bit too much for a uh, highlighter for someone of my skin tone, um, but it'd probably make quite a nice blush topper. But, um, yeah, that's, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that, but 20, $25 for that seems stupidly expensive. I know everything in Australia is stupidly expensive when it comes to makeup. Well, pretty much everything. Uh, and lastly, we have a tint stick. Interestingly enough, this had like a plastic covering on it, but it's not up here. So I don't know what's going on with that. This is from Universal Beauty. It is a tint stick in nude pink. It's a lip tint. Um, and it retails for $19.99. So the value of this particular box is pretty fantastic. That's what the end of it looks like. <laughs> it's like highlighter pink. And I'm not upset by that. I, I quite like bright pink. Um, and because it's a tint, it's not going to be... Yeah, I can... I can it's like... I have kind of crepey ish hands, even though I use a lot of hand cream because I'm getting older and it's just kind of like bleeding into them all. Um, yeah, so in terms of value, this um, box is pretty phenomenal and I'm actually pretty impressed and I would use everything that's in this box, which is the first time I've been able to say that in an extremely long time when it comes to uh, Bella Box. So I'm actually really happy with Bella Box this month. I think they did a really good job and yeah, so... Uh, luckily for them, really. So, yeah. Um, I will leave a link to Bella Box down below if you're in Australia and you're interested in checking it out. Um, you have uh, different options for paying extended periods of time or getting it bi-monthly or whatever. Or getting it every month if you want. I believe it's $17. I think that's what I pay. Um, yeah, so, uh, but I'll leave that linked down below. So that was my Bella Box for May. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxings and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!